If Cadillac has been paying attention to the positive reaction on Facebook and Twitter, they're already making room in their lineup for the CL concept. It's interesting uh, how things are shown immediately on the internet, so uh, no sooner than you've revealed the car, you've got hundreds of comments coming in. And uh, we're very interested in seeing what people's initial responses are to the car, even when they haven't seen it in person. Nikki Smart is the designer for the exterior of the Cadillac CL. CL means uh, sky in French. Cadillac showed off its CL concept at a rooftop party in New York's Chelsea neighborhood. And this vehicle really tries to celebrate the, the notion of the journey and focuses first and foremost on what qualities are important for that to happen. And that's not just for two people, but for four people to enjoy a journey together. The four-door all-wheel drive hybrid concept car is stunning. It even has cashmere blankets that deploy for the passengers. So-called suicide doors haven't been common on a mass-market American car since rotary phones and person-to-person -person calls. I personally wouldn't call it retro. Um, I, I think what is retrospective in the appearance of the car is the vehicle type. We haven't seen a, uh, an open four-seat convertible that's truly committed to four um, decently sized seats um, for quite some time and it's a vehicle that no one really produces at the moment. Concept cars are much closer to production than the dream machines that we used to see at auto shows. Cadillac says the CL, which was designed in its California studios, will compete against the cream of the mass market luxury crop, including the BMW 7 Series and the Mercedes S-Class. I would hate to give you a specific number other than to say definitely something above the 100,000 range should we come out with a vehicle like this. We talk to consumers and, and as we understand what this vehicle means, that's not something that's necessarily incongruent with Cadillac or with where we think we need to head. If we're thinking about a vehicle that is more of a flagship status and stature kind of vehicle, uh, it should be something that is, uh, is emblematic of, of premiumness, of handcrafted, of just the artisanship that goes into it. And that is something that um, I think people would be willing to pay for. And while Cadillac is spending a lot of time and money convincing consumers that their modern cars are fast and sporty, the CL harkens back to the golden age of Cadillac when Detroit Steel ruled America's highways and the size of one's ride was often equated with the size of the owner's bank account. So the dimensions are enormous through the interior. The, the length of the car overall is only a foot longer than a CTS, which is, is a mid-sized sedan, as you know. Um, so the overall length of this car is actually pretty compact for, for the segment that it would be in. The interior space is extremely generous. While the Beach Boys were still boys when the last four-door luxury convertible cruised California highways, the new CL concept harkens back to the early 60s, but also gives a nod to changing times. Little drawers under the seats provide sunscreen for each occupant. Each seat is also individually cooled and heated. The twin-turbo six-cylinder hybrid all-wheel drive power plant is designed to make sure that this luxury liner won't drink like a sailor. The power plant is a V6 twin turbocharged engine uh, and it's coupled with a four mode hybrid. It would have been easy to put in uh, a V16 arguably or a V12 or even a V8, but we made a very conscious decision to try and be intelligent about what we put in the vehicle. And while the CL is certainly a blue sky dream that may become a reality in a showroom someday soon, Cadillac is planning to unveil a much smaller, sportier machine in 2012. And then coming in the compact luxury category, which is obviously the largest luxury segment within the U.S., the ATS, a vehicle designed to be nimble, quick, and fun, honestly targeted precisely at the BMW 3 Series in terms of its driving dynamics and, and you know, who sets the benchmark in that segment right now. And we know we need to come with the goods in terms of, of, of that product, and we're very excited about how it's developing and how it's coming along, and also excited about the new customers that we know it will bring into the Cadillac showrooms. The Cadillac ATS will be available in both rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive configurations. The ATS will start production in the summer of 2012, adding 600 jobs to the Lansing Grand River plant in Michigan. Pricing for the ATS has not yet been announced. In the Chelsea section of Manhattan, I'm Grant Winter reporting for Real World Test Drive.